the guy with the big ass patty bag and beer dispenser. They're ready, folks. There comes Noel. Oh boy. <laughs> Andrew, you're gonna call us to attention. Watch here. Ten, huh? <laughs> Make sure your thumbs are in line with these seams on your pants. Back straight, your shoulders straight. Oh, the flowers are Oh. This is little Andrew. Yes, oh my god. Here comes Mini Me. I can imagine. How'd you guys survive? With him? I don't know. I forgot one you found. Yeah. Where's Camden? Um, in there, still. Where are you? Okay, so you're supposed to go over and sit in the chairs. In front. I want to sit in the chairs. You have to. You have to. Go sit in front of Amy. Hey, nope. It's the law. You don't, you don't have to sit at the end. You can sit down by in front of Amy. Okay. See, I'd get aisle seat. <laughs> I'd sit in front of that cute girl and try to cough the field. <laughs> I was already told we were going to bring the girls. That was already, yeah, it's not even funny. Oh my lord, they're coming. This is happening? Yep. I'm running. <laughs> Got your shoes tied it's not too late, right? <laughs> I haven't said I do. I'm just running. The mother cleaned up good. Mother cleans up good. Camden's coming. Camden. Camden. <coughs> All right. Just smile. I don't know. <laughs> Just luck. Take deep breaths. I'm you. trying. Bravo. 
Absolutely. Good afternoon, family and friends. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Pamela and Andrew. You have all come here to share in this formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Pamela and Andrew to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? Andrew and Pamela, today you are surrounded by your friends and family, all of whom have gathered to witness your marriage and to share in the joy of this special occasion. Today, as you join yourselves in marriage, there is a vast and unknown future stretching out before you. The possibilities and potentials of your married life are great, and now falls upon your shoulders the task of choosing your path in life and making your dreams real. Through your commitment to each other, May you grow and nurture a love that makes both of you better people, a love that continues to give you the greatest joy, and also a passion for living that provides you with energy and patience in face and challenge of life. True marriages begin well before the wedding day, and the efforts of marriage continue well beyond the ceremony's end. In brief moments in time and the stroke of a pen are all that is required to create the legal bond of marriage. But it takes a lifetime of love, commitment, and compromise to make marriage durable and everlasting. Today you declare your commitment to each other before family and friends, your yesterdays with the past to this moment, and your journeys to a future of togetherness become a little bit more clear with each new day. Andrew? Would you like to say your vows to Pamela? Pamela Marilyn Gould. As I begin to write my vows, I think to myself, how on earth will I ever write something that will come across romantic, heart touching, and most importantly, make any sense? I searched the internet but couldn't find anything that would help me write my own vows or how I would express how I feel inside. Pam, you told me to try and start with a memory of us since we have been together. There are so many in a little over three years that we've been together. I like how I found you on plentyoffish.com. <laughs> so it does work. Not all the time, but it does. And from wrestling together in my uh, front door yard and letting you think that you won. So funny. <laughs> the Keith Urban concert in Massachusetts, the Def Dunham show in Bangor. There's so many good memories, but the one I like the most is when we uh, took the bike ride around Eagle Lake. On that fall day two years ago. You had no idea what wasn't to take place at the end of the ride. I had set up my GoPro camera at the beginning of the r our trip, knowing that I wanted to record the moment that I had planned to ask you to marry me. When we arrived at Eagle Lake, I was holding you in my arms, and I was nervous and scared, as I am right now. <laughs> I wasn't sure what your answer would be. So I got down on one knee and asked you if you'd be, marry me and be my wife. It was the first time I had seen you cry, not only because you were watching a sappy love story like we do on DVD, <laughs> but because you were so happy and surprised that I picked you to be my wife and that I wanted to spend the rest of our lives together. You are my true north and my soulmate, and for that, I will never stop choosing you. Pam, as I say these vows, I just promise that, but as a privilege because I get to spend the rest of my life loving you. I love how such of a great mother you are to my kids, and I promise to be a super stepfather to yours and to treat them like one of mine. I vow not to just grow old together, but to grow together. I vow to put your happiness before mine and to always hold your hand. I vow to be faithful and never break your heart. 
I promise to always be there for you and the kids. I promise to always make you smile and laugh. Yeah, and cry. <laughs> Not trying. I promise to never give up on you or us. I promise to always have your back and support in whatever you do, no matter what. I can tell you without any uncertainty that I do, I did, and I will always choose you. So with these words and my whole heart, I give you my life. That was nice. Proud of that you. That was hard. <laughs> Pamela, you may say your bows to Andrew. <laughs> Andrew, on our first date, I remember sitting on your couch watching the bow. And by the end of it, we were both in tears. I'm thinking now, maybe we will should have watched Big Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I met your friends and some family was at a barbecue <laughs> that you had in your dooryard. Remember when we wrestled and I won? <laughs> OK, so I'll finally admit it. We tied. <laughs> we have done so many fun things together. I could stand here and talk about it all day. But I will say that. Everything up until this point has made me love you more and more. I know you were the one, I, I knew you were the one when I missed you the second we weren't with each other, when I wasn't with you, but you were all I talked about and everything I did and saw somehow reminded me of you. The first year together only being able to see each other on weekends and a few times in between, sorry. May the bond we have together one I will cherish forever. Andrew, I love you for so many reasons that I could never list them all today. But you being my rock, my shoulder to cry on, the one that holds me together, but also still loves me when I fall apart. I love you for loving me no matter what. I once asked my grandmother, Natalie, how her and my grandfather were married for so many years. And she jokingly said lots of patience, <laughs> but very seriously answered lots of work. I know marriage is not all fun and games, but I know that together you and I can conquer anything that comes at us with hard work and the love that we have for each other. I will strive to be the best wife possible to you and for you. I strive to grow old with you and to have you for the rest of my life. I promise to love you through thick and thin to be there when you feel alone, and to never leave your side through sickness or injury, because I think I've proven that one. <laughs> I promise you to love your amazing children as my own, to cherish all the memories that we make as a family, and to do whatever it takes to continue to be your other half, your best friend, and your soulmate. And I vow to you my love, faithfulness, honor, friendship, in partnership in marriage. I vow to be your sidekick, to be si silly and serious with you, and even sometimes when she gets more of your attention than I do, I will be right there working beside you on your cars and your SRT. <laughs> because I know that that's your passion as you are mine. I love you to the moon and back, babe. Do you, Andrew, take Pamela to be your wife, to support and respect her in her success as well as her failures, to care for her in sickness and in health, to nurture her and to grow with her throughout the seasons of your life together? What do you think I say no? <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. OK. Do you, Pamela, take Andrew to be your husband, to support and respect him in his successes as well as his failures, to care for him in sickness and in health, to nurture him and to grow with him throughout the seasons of your life together? I do. Okay. And this is when you do the ceremony for the children? Okay. This family has chosen to begin their new life with a sand ceremony. Today, Andrew, Pamela, Megan, Cameron, Jocelyn, and Camden, you are making a commitment of your eternal love for one another as well as your family. 
As you each hold your vase, the individual containers of sand represent your lives to this moment. Individual and unique, as you now combine your sand together, your lives also join together as one family. So we need that. Come on, I'll do it there. And then we bring it up. No, we'll just go behind it. Justin, go behind, honey. We're on the other side. Read the thing. Camera over here. Justin. Justin, come here. at $100. Do the necklaces? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, Andrew, would you like to read this? Please. Come here. You bring your mother. Here, Justin. Come here, honey. Right there. No, you'll look at me. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Look at me. Come here. Andrew's going to read you something. Turn around and listen. I promise to be a fair and honest person, to be able, available for you as I am for your, you, for your mom, and in due time, and earn your love, respect, and true friendship. I will not attempt to replace anyone, but to make a place in your hearts that is for me alone. I will be father and friend, and I will cherish my life with you both. On this day, when I marry your mom, I will marry you. I promise to love you and support you as my own. Aww. Josh, do you have the necklaces? You stay right here, because Andrew's going to give you a present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Just do it at the end of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know what it is. You do. Hold on, that one's for camera. Put it in your hand the same. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I'm fine. Oops. And what that says? That says, Kendra, Eva, 
I promise to be fair and to be honest, to be available for you as I am for your dad, and in due t time to earn your love, respect, and true friendship. I will not attempt to replace anyone, but will make a place in your hearts that is for me alone. I will. I will be a friend, and I will cherish my life with you both. On this day, when I marry your dad, I marry you, and I promise to love and support you as my own. And now, last but not least, may I have the rings? You do have them, right? <laughs> They're probably in your other car. Anybody got a cane? <laughs> Okay. Oh, Andrew, wedding rings are made precious by you wearing them. Your ring says that even in your uniqueness, you have chosen to be bound together. Let these rings also be a sign of love, that substance as well as soul, and present as well as past, and that despite an occasional sorrows, love is a circle of happiness, wonder, and delight. May these rings remind you always of the vows that you have taken today. Andrew, as you place the ring on Pamela's finger, please repeat after me. Pamela, take this ring and wear it as a token of my love. Pamela, take this ring and wear it as a token of my love. Yeah, sorry, I got it wrong. Don't you say it again. Sorry. 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 Pamela, as you place the ring on Andrew's finger, please repeat after me. Andrew, take this ring and wear it as a token of my love. Andrew, take this ring and wear it as a token of my love. Good sturdy one. <laughs> my turn. <laughs> May this couple and their children come together, come more together as a family from this day forward. By the power invested in me, by the laws of the great state of Maine, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Andrew, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Family and friends, I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Alley.
Let's have a nice cheer for the couple! Yep. Yeah. 